good evening, everybody. Welcome to Chef Ivory, Ivory the Chef. Welcome to Kuwait's Culinary Creations. This is our 11th week. It's been awesome. We've been having a great time. Uh, today, we got some exciting stuff for you guys to do uh, today. So if you have not been with us for the entire 11 weeks, you can go on to YouTube and look in my archives and you can get the classes from there. So today's menu is not posted because I'm going to combine some of all of the menus that we did today to uh, with the lobster tail, right? And we're going to talk about the lobster tail in a minute. But before we talk about that, let's go to this. Hey, hey, Cuvée's Creations Honey Lime Vinaigrette. You can get it by going to Cuvée's Culinary Creations.com. Fill out the contact page. Under event, put salad dressing, and under the date, you want to put how many salad dressings that you want. It's going great. We're starting to meet with some of the restaurant owners here in Houston, Texas. Uh, we've talked to a couple of restaurant owners in Los Angeles that's uh, possibly getting ready to start carrying it. So, hey, listen, this is going to be the next household ranch dressing, if you will. Remember how when the ranch dressing came out? Now, everybody carries ranch dressing in their refrigerator. This honey lime vinaigrette is going to be your new ranch dressing. It's going to take that place. It's healthy, it's flavorful, it's great with wings, it's great on any kind of salad. You can just imagine. The kids eat it even with their chicken strips. So, get this today, CuvetsCulinaryCreations.com. Fill out the contact page, the date, put how many bottles you want, and we'll get all of your stuff shipped out to you immediately okay so while we're um while we're getting ready to prepare the reason that i came up with this lobster tail is because on father's day my sister called me and she was doing lobster for her she was doing lobster for her husband and she wanted to know how to actually get the lobster out of the tail so we went through a whole little class, and I said, you know what? That would be a great idea for the class on Tuesday. So that's what we have today. And by the way, for all of you guys, happy belated Father's Day to all of you guys. To my dad, one of my best friends. He is one of my best friends. My dad, happy Father's Day again. And I hope you got your gift today. It should have arrived today. So happy belated Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And uh, we had a really busy Sunday. We did stuffed smoked turkey legs stuffed with brisket mac and cheese. We had shrimp pasta, I mean shrimp fettuccine. We had fried chicken, loaded mashed potatoes, green beans, and our famous holy molar dessert bars. We had so many orders, I had to call in reinforcements so that we can deliver. We had a total of five delivery cars going out for those deliveries. So thank you guys who have helped me deliver. Happy Father's, happy belated Father's Day to you guys all. So today, what we have is we have lobster tail. So with the lobster tail, you notice that my lobster tail is not typically red like most of the lobsters that you guys see. Well, one of the reasons why is because you got lobsters that come from warm water and you have lobsters that come from cold water. This is a warm water lobster. So you can see the difference in the color. And this is about a 12 ounce lobster tail. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to get the meat out of the lobster tail without breaking it up. I'm going to pair it with um, a garlic lobster butter sauce. Yes. Could uh, the taste different? The taste, okay. So here's the taste, right? The warm water lobster is much more buttery than the cold water lobster. It's a lot more tender, it's a lot juicier, it's a lot thicker. So taste, taste is like you having an Alaskan king crab and a snow crab, right? So one is going to be a little sweeter, a little more buttery than the other one, but they're both going to be very flavorful, right? You can find these in the fresh, in the fresh seafood area. Um, they typically run about $16, $17, um, which is not a bad price for a lobster tail. Okay? Yes. Is the cold water lobster more 
<laughs> no, it's not. Because the cold water lobster tails is you see the little small ones at the store sometimes they're on sale for five ninety nine or seven ninety nine. Those are typically cold water lobsters. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lobster, we're just gonna kinda rinse it a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so here's the trick. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your finger and you're gonna go right across the shell at the top. And you're gonna run your finger and loosen the meat. You wanna be careful because these are really sharp and you can cut yourself. Yes. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Okay, and then you're going to go up underneath and you're going to do the same exact thing. Okay, you can crack it just a little. Then you're going to take a pair of shears and you're going to cut right down the back of the lobster. Now, this lobster tail is a little harder. The, the warm water lobster tails is a little harder than the cold water lobster tail. So then you're going to crack the shell just a little bit. There we go. And you're going to take your lobster right out of the shell. So you got the whole tail. So see, it even looks more like, more, it even looks buttery and flavorful. So what do you do with lobster tails after you finish with them? You can take them and put some onions, some garlic, put them in the water, and boil them for about 30 to 45 minutes. You can make your own lobster stock. Um, you can use it to stuff them, right? So then we're going to take the lobster and we're going to rinse it a little bit. Now, a lot of people like lobsters uh, fried. Some people like them grilled. Some people like them blackened. We're going to do this lobster tail. We're going to grill it, and we're going to put a roasted garlic Parmesan crust on top of it, just like we did with the sea bass, right? And I think that was amazing, and this is going to be amazing as well. So. While we have our lobster resting here for a minute, we're going to take just a little salt and pepper. Now, typically your lobster is going to curl up, right? When you cook it, it starts to curl up or when you fry it. So I'm going to show you guys a little trick. You're going to take a skewer and you're going to skewer the lobster. that's going to keep it straight so that it won't curl up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our crust ready for the lobster tail. We're gonna also turn on our fire for the angel hair pasta. So we have garlic, about six cloves of garlic, a piece of aluminum foil, and you have a quarter cup of mayo, and you have a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, right? And you're going to take your garlic, you're going to put it in the foil. You're going to put a teaspoon of olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and you're going to wrap it, and you're going to put it in the oven, right? So when it comes out of the oven, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have your roasted garlic. So you're going to take your roasted garlic. You're going to take it. You'll put it in a bowl. You're going to add all of your mayo. And then you're going to add half of the Parmesan cheese. And then you're just going to crush it up together. And typically, you can put it in a blender. Um, 
You can put it in a blender, blend if you want, but I like to crush it up, put a little more love into the food, right? So, while this is resting, this is going to go on top of our lobster. So we're gonna sit it over to the side. We're gonna take our lobster tail while this is heating up. We're gonna take a little of the olive oil and we're gonna rub our lobster down with the olive oil. Sit it right there to the side. And then we're going to take our lobster and we, we will grill our lobster on the grill. We're going to let that get a little hot, right? While that's getting hot, we're going to turn the fire on our skillet. We're going to start our lobster sauce. So with the lobster sauce, you're going to take a stick of butter, uh, a half a, uh, half a cup of... Um, of your white wine, you have your garlic, you have your lobster base or your lobster stock, and you have some green onions and your parsley. Right? Now, what you we're also gonna use a little garlic bread. Oh, and you also have your heavy, your half and half or heavy cream. Uh, the difference between the two, the half, the heavy cream has a lot more fat. Uh, the half and half doesn't have as much fat. And you have to cook it and reduce it just a little longer. Any questions? Okay. So our water is boiling and everything is going. So we're going to take our lobster tail and we're going to put it on the grill. Right? And if you can put that one in the oven for me. Uh, so after you grill it, it's okay. And let me see it for a second, Rob. <clears throat> Right yeah, let me see that one. Okay. So after you grill it, you're going to take your, your, your mixture and you'll put it on top of it. And then you'll take it and put it on and broil. You put it in broil. Don't broil it yet because we still have a little time. That's what it is. Not, don't put it in there yet. But you're going to put it on the top of it. Okay? <clears throat> so like everything is ready so your lobster is not going to take you very long right so this particular lobster tail is really thick it's 12 to 14 ounces so that lobster tail is going to take you about six to seven minutes in the oven uh, after you grill it so you want to make sure you don't overcook it because it's going to get a little dry but you do want it to be a little moist in the inside. So after we let it grill just a little bit, then we're gonna put it in the oven. We'll use the uh, we'll use this, the uh, the spread, the roasted garlic parmesan crust that we're gonna put on top of it, and then we'll put it both of them in the oven at the same time because they're not gonna take long. And while they're doing that, I'm going to make the sauce, and the sauce is not gonna take very long at all either. Now, this sauce is a recipe that I came up with today. Um, I ran one test with it, and uh, Soraya and Jeremiah devoured it. Um, so, and again, everything that we've been doing for the past 11 weeks has been really simple and really easy because my thought process is that you guys go to work, you come home from work, you don't want to spend two and a half to three hours in the kitchen cooking food. So, while the lobster's finished grilling, right, you're going to take your crust and you're just going to put it on top of it. And then, Rob, we can sit this right on top of the, uh, we can sit this right on top of, uh, on that, on that, uh, there we go. And now, you can pull your stick out. Going up here? Yeah, in just a few minutes. So, here we have both of the lobsters, right? Now, one of the reasons why I let this one in the air, uh, because I wanted to create a pellicle, is what you call it. 
and I want to create a nice crust on top of them, so I want it to dry a little bit on the top. Okay, so we're gonna sit it there. <clears throat> we're gonna get rid of our grill. come up with our sauce. So, with the sauce, <clears throat> we're going to use a stick of butter. <clears throat> you got a stick of butter. Now, you want the butter to get just a little brown. You don't want it to get too brown, right? But you do want it to get brown, that's why we turned the heat up on this a little bit. Okay, so while this butter is browning, we're going to add our garlic. Now the garlic, you don't want to cook very long. Some people may add shallots to it, and you can if you want again. That's what I like about cooking. You can do whatever you want to do. Okay, now we added our garlic. Once it starts to smell, we smell the aroma. And we got our butter kind of getting brown. We're going to add our wine. And we're going to let the wine reduce just a little bit. So while our wine is reducing, we're going to take our water and boiling. We're going to go ahead and drop our angel hair pasta. And I think if you guys have been watching the show, you guys kind of know that I like pasta. I do. I really like pasta. Uh, so you want to make sure. Now, a lot of people overcook angel hair pasta. It should not be mushy, guys. It should not be mushy. Let me repeat that. It should not be mushy. Yes? What type of wine? Is it white? Oh, it's a white wine. Your preference. Chardonnay. I use a Sauvignon Blanc. So you're going to let this reduce a little bit. While it's reducing... I'm going to make sure I keep my pasta from sticking together. Now, if that pasta comes to a, if the water comes to a nice roaring boil, a lot of people put oil in their water. You don't really have to because the starch from the pasta is going to keep it loose anyway, right? As long as the water comes to a nice boil. So we got that working. We got our sauce reducing. So we're going to give it a little more. Rob, go ahead and put the lobster in. There we go. So while this is reducing, we're going to keep an eye on our pasta. Any questions? Okay, good. So, and then um, we're going to do some garlic bread. So with our garlic bread, you need a little more butter. Uh, typically, you could use the spread uh, if you wanted to. Or you can use some of your roasted garlic um, that you had. So we're just going to spread a little butter here. Uh, the people that's eating, they don't really need no more butter anyway. They really don't need no bread. Uh, since COVID, you know, they getting kind of wide around here. <laughs> okay, so now that you can see that our sauce has reduced a little bit, we're going to go in and we're going to add... Our lobster stock or our lobster base. And then after our lobster base, we're going to add our heavy cream, I mean our half and half, and we're going to let it reduce. And we're going to let it reduce so it gets a little thick. Simple, right? That's it. Now all we should be doing is waiting on everything to thicken up and waiting on our pasta to get ready. So we're going to turn this down just a little bit. Put on our lobster. <clears throat> now, our angel hair pasta is finished.
So who can tell me how do you know whether or not pasta is ready? So my grandmother taught me to take the pasta when I was a kid and throw it against the wall. If it sticks, you know that it's ready. How about that? <laughs> oh, grandma. <All> right. <laughs> okay, so our pasta's ready. So we're going to strain it. And we're going to let it drain just a little bit. Now our sauce is getting a little thicker, which is what we want. And you're going to add your green onions. You add a little parsley. And now you're going to add some of your pasta. You don't need it all. <laughs> no, there's not, guys. I just want to make sure that my pasta, my sauce, uh, didn't. Oh, my pasta didn't overpower my sauce. Gotcha. That's all. So now we can take this and turn this down. Actually, I turned it off, and we're gonna let that rest a little bit. Rob, yeah. can you check my oven for me? Let me see my lobster. Absolutely. Beautiful. You can take it out for me. Okay. <clears throat> Sit right here. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Take our tongs. <clears throat> We're going to take our lobster tail. Garnish with a little parsley. Like the wolf pack over here. So there you have it. How fast was that? Mighty fast. Mm. So we have angel hair pasta with a garlic lobster butter sauce. We have a 12 ounce lobster tail and with the garlic parmesan crust on the top of it. And we used the warm water lobster. How about that? Wow. Mm. So that's ginger. Dinner under 30 minutes? That's dinner under 30 minutes. Within 20 minutes. How wow. about that? Really simple, right? You guys can do this at home, right? Again, I can make these as intricate as I, as I want because I can buy the lobsters, shell them, make a lobster stock, right? It'll start at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and start making my lobster stock, let it cool down, and we can use that. Um, make my own pasta, right? If I wanted to, but you guys are working all day, right? You don't want to come home and do all of that, right? So if you want a meal like this, 
you need Chef Ivory to come by your house and prepare an excellent meal for you for two or for four or for six. We will not do parties over 20 people because of social, social distancing here in Houston. Um, go to CuvetsCulinaryCreations.com. Um, fill, out the, fill out the contact page. Put your date of your event. Put the date of your party. Put how many people you have. And we'll get right back to you. And we do not turn down any clients because of their budget. That's what we started from day one. We do the work, you take the credit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class. This is a wonderful meal. Stay tuned for Cuvée's Culinary Creations. And remember, Honey Lime Vinaigrette, if you're interested in the Zoom class, go to our Facebook page, go to Instagram, go to our YouTube page. You can see all the archives of all the different, all the different uh, shows that we've done. If you need to order, CuvetsCulinaryCreations.com contact page. Put in you want the salad dressing, and we'll get the salad dressing shipped out to you. Um, I think one day, yes. Chef, are you available to travel as a personal chef? I am. It's you, the one in Vegas. Is oh my God! Yeah, they don't. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I will come to Vegas. Um, all I need is an airline ticket. And I need uh, the money up front. <laughs> will you go to Atlanta? I will go to Very Atlanta. Nice. I have I have been to Detroit. I've been to Los Angeles. I've been to Dallas. I've been to Beaumont. I've been to Pasadena, Texas. I've been to Missouri City, Texas. I've been all over, out of town. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys know about Missouri City, Texas, that's like right down the street, right? So, but yes, I will travel. I will travel. We've done plenty of events around around this in the states. I haven't become global yet, but I will come to London. I will come to Australia. I have a couple of friends that are Facebook friends of mine that lives in Australia. Uh, hey, Mike. I hope you're watching. Um, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'll go to Philly, um, as long as I have bodyguards, of course. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, listen, yes, okay, so guys, listen, I enjoyed you guys, I really, really enjoyed doing these shows, and I hope you guys keep following me, keep following me, keep following me, who knows what's going to happen, stay safe, listen, Houston, the, the numbers are growing fast, right, the numbers are growing fast, stay home, stay safe, stay out of the clubs, stay out of the strip joints, Stay out of the bars because it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. We, wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. If you need to stay at home, call us. We do contactless deliveries on Wednesdays and on Fridays. That's what we do. This Wednesday we have lasagna. And on Friday, I haven't even created the menu yet. Because they're still eating food from Sunday. It was so much food. <laughs> and we had an amazing time for Father's Day. I thank you guys. Um, thank all of my friends and family that's called and reached out to me. I'm sorry I didn't get back, to, get back to you guys till later because we were still working. You know what? Stay safe, you guys. It's a wonderful show. I enjoy you guys. Still befriend me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Thank you guys. Stay safe, wear your mask, and God bless.